coming up on today's episode of Airborne Uncrewed. Luckless Irish drone operator prosecuted. Red tape hinders the route to Red Planet. And Biden to deepen American involvement in Ukraine war. Hi, I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Uncrewed program, a weekly news program covering all things uncrewed, in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Uncrewed Vehicle Systems International. Let's get into today's stories. Luckless Irish drone operator prosecuted. The Irish Aviation Authority successfully prosecuted an independent filmmaker for flying a drone over a crowd of demonstrators in Dublin. The May 2021 incident saw the drone detained and its operator informed by the IAA that he'd violated its 1993 act for operating a drone over an assembly of people. The agency alleged the operator did not appreciate the safety risks posed to the crowd gathered underneath a flying drone. The IAA further stated that bystanders below an airborne drone cannot safely move away if the drone malfunctions and falls or is operated erratically. During subsequent court proceedings, the IAA argued that flying a drone over an assembly of people was a, quote, high-risk offense, and that the drone, quote, did fly relatively close overhead. The operator slash defendant, who pled guilty, was awarded the Probation Act, which spares defendants recorded convictions, and ordered to contribute to the IAA's legal cost. The defendant was further ordered to make a charitable donation to the Little Flower Penny Dinner Charity, which provides legal aid to the underprivileged in Dublin. Such punitive sentences are common in the EU, which serves as the world model for governmental overreach. And after these messages, unmanned aircraft to test North Dakota network. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. In the next Uncrewed Minute, let's take a look at some of the shorter stories making the rounds of the uncrewed vehicle communities. Unmanned aircraft to test North Dakota network. Vantis, North Dakota's statewide unmanned aircraft systems network, has named the companies and organizations that will be flying real-life use cases on its network this summer. The six winners were selected following a request for a proposal process that sought multiple unmanned aircraft systems to support operational testing of beyond visual line of sight flights on the statewide network. Organizations selected to participate in the network test include American Aerospace Technologies, iSight Drone Services, Phoenix Air Unmanned, UND Aerospace Foundation, and Workhorse. Web Space Telescope to Peer Beyond Hubble. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope will release its first full-color images and spectroscopic data on July 12, 2022. The orbital telescope, designed primarily to conduct infrared astronomy, is the most powerful ever launched into space and promises to dramatically broaden humankind's understanding of the cosmos. The last six months have seen the telescope's mirrors aligned and its instruments calibrated to the space environment. This careful process, in conjunction with numerous emergent technologies and extensive mission planning, has led up to the July debut. Unmanned Rotorcraft in Service with Romanian Border Police After a series of successful operations in 2021, Romanian Border Police are once again utilizing Shebel's unmanned S-100 camcopter to carry out general Coast Guard functions. 
The operations, which encompass day-to-day -day monitoring and surveillance of shipping activity, port security, accident and disaster response, and search and rescue operations, commenced in March 2022 and are scheduled to continue until August. Romanian Border Police carried out 50 missions in the first two months of 2022 operations, during which the S-100 accumulated more than 170 hours. FAA certifies Stage Tech Mode S Transponder with integrated ADS-B in and out. Sage Tech Avionics has received a TSO for its MXS Mode S Transponder with integrated ADS-B in and out. The MXS Miniature Transponder provides Mode A, C, S, and 1090 MHz ADS-B in and out and is suitable for use worldwide by crewed or uncrewed systems. In addition, each transponder comes with user-friendly command and control software with a built-in traffic display to enhance situational awareness. Furthermore, the units can be used plug-and-play with PX4 and Ardupilot-based autopilots. Well, that was our Uncrewed Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Red tape hinders the route to Red Planet. Getting to space is difficult. The technical, gravitational, atmospheric, aerodynamic, and fiscal challenges are immense. And then there's the red tape. The Federal Aviation Administration has delayed the release of its final programmatic environmental assessment of SpaceX's Starship Development Program a few more weeks. The move, which the FAA attributes to ongoing interagency consultation, will see the originally scheduled release date of May 31st pushed back to June 13th. Completion of the environmental assessment, which is but one of the regulatory hurdles SpaceX must clear prior to proceeding with testing of its Starship slash Super Heavy Booster prototype, will not guarantee that the FAA will issue a launch license. SpaceX's application must also meet FAA safety, risk, and financial responsibility requirements. The vehicles SpaceX intends to launch, Starship 24 and Super Heavy Booster 7, feature extensive design changes, including an upgraded version of the Raptor engine. If the mission goes to plan, the maiden flight of SpaceX's two-stage launch vehicle will see the booster separate from Starship main craft 170 seconds after liftoff, then return safely and land approximately 32 kilometers offshore in the Gulf of Mexico. The second stage will subsequently achieve orbit before performing a powered, targeted splashdown approximately 100 kilometers off the northwest coast of Kauai. And after the break, Biden to deepen American involvement in Ukraine war. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Biden to deepen American involvement in Ukraine war. The Biden administration is making ready to sell four MQ-1C Gray Eagle drones to Ukraine. The move would supplement Ukraine's existing drone fleet, which comprises primarily Turkish Bayraktar TB2 units. The MQ-1C Gray Eagle drones, which can remain aloft for over 30 hours, are capable of carrying up to eight Hellfire missiles, which are double the weight of the munitions with which the Bayraktar TB2 can be armed. Drone expert Dan Gettinger of the nonprofit Vertical Flight Society states, quote, Generally, the MQ-1C is a much larger aircraft with a max takeoff weight around three times that of the Bayraktar TB2, with commensurate advantages in payload capacity, range, and endurance, end quote. According to Gettinger, training on the General Atomics-made MQ-1C Gray Eagle drones is a complex process that ordinarily takes several months. 
However, individuals within the Biden administration claim a training regimen has been proposed that could accelerate training time to just a few weeks. The sale of the drones has been under review at the Pentagon for numerous weeks, and it could still be blocked by a Congress ostensibly more circumspect than the Commander-in-Chief. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.